Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk with you guys about the market because it is no secret that this market right now is dying or dead already. Lots of stuff is falling on this game. Prices are dropping across the board. And I want to talk about why that is, what are some of the reasons behind the market drop, and also um, some market movements that we could see in the future, and still ways to make coins and still ways that we see market movements on this game, even though the market is down a lot. We'll talk about some of that stuff as well. Uh, but I want to talk you guys through a lot of these things because people have been asking me, why is this market so low? What is causing these card prices to drop hundreds of thousands of coins in some cases? Uh, especially if we look at some of the icons, these cards, some of them are down like 500 K some of the top tier icons, um, icon moments cards are down 500,000 coins in the past week, which is insane. Uh, like I think one example I could, I could pull up here is this prime moments, Mateus. I mean, this guy he's, it's showing at 3.3 mil right now. He got listed today multiple times. He was around 3.1 mil. This guy was like three, six, three, seven, just about a week ago. So him now being like three to two, three point one mil during the day is crazy. Some of these high rated cards, these big time icons, and then cards across the board are just dropping. So why is this happening? Again, a lot of this has to do with two major things that I'm going to point out during this video. And the first thing is this promo, this promo that they are doing right now with half priced coin packs and two for one pack lightning rounds is draining tons of coins from people's clubs. I talked about this in my video yesterday. I was opening some uh, squad battle rewards for viewers of my channel on twitch.tv. I was live streaming those rewards and opening uh, some rewards for people via share play, logging onto their accounts and seeing how many coins they had. It was shocking me how little amount of coins some of those guys had. I mean, they were playing squad battles to get coins. People are low on coins right now in this game because of these packs. I think this is a huge part of it. People see half price packs and they think, yo, I, you know, I drop 100,000 coins on this 100k pack, the second best pack in the game. All right, I'll drop 100,000 coins because I get two of them, right? It's a good deal. I'm bound to make my money back. It doesn't happen like that because EA knows just as well as you as we do that uh, when they drop those two for one packs on the market, they probably, they drop the pack weight for sure. They might even drop it by half because they know that for every two of those packs that people open for that 100,000 coins, or let's say you get two 50K packs for 50K instead of one 50K pack for 50,000 coins, they know that they don't want people to make their money back on those packs. It's never going to be a deal to open packs on this game. Literally, it's never going to be like advantageous for you. Unless you're opening bronze packs and you're opening hundreds of them and cycling through them, you'll end, you'll end, end up profiting in the end. Um, but for big packs like these, you never profit with these. So please never open packs with coins. But that's what a lot of people did this weekend. You can just tell because they were selling cards. They were selling special cards. People are selling icons to go open those packs because they want to go do an SBC maybe or because uh, they're just done with the game. And that's going to lead me into my second point on why this market's going down so much. People are just leaving the game. I mean, of course, you have the whole Kurt situation that's going on right now. People are playing Pez, um, whether it's standing up to EA or, or, you know, making a stand against EA by playing Pez or just trying to find another outlet to uh, explore and to um, fill their passion for football and wanting to be able to play that sport in that game somewhere else. Uh, people are moving to Pez for whatever reason it is. Uh, it's just hype right now. And that means less people on foot. And some people are quitting the game and going to Pez. They're, you know, this uh, this weekend, whether EA realized it or not, gave people that wanted to quit their game a perfect opportunity to do so. And a perfect exit strategy for a lot of people. You have two for one packs in the store with coins, right? 50,000 coin pack. Oh, why don't I just open these? 50K, I get two packs. You know, I've got a couple hundred thousand coins. Let me rinse all my coins down on packs, sell my players. If I get something good, dope. I get something good. If I don't, then I'm done. Because I think a lot of people were feeling like that this weekend on foot during the foot player days and the Libertadores, uh, like lightning round, two for one pack section or part of the promo this weekend. I think lots of people did that and a lot of people are leaving the game. Of course, we have like Call of Duty new modes coming out, uh, updates to other games. Uh, and, and then, of course, the hype for Pez as well. So there's a lot of other outlets for people right now in this 
this non-hype time of FIFA. And I've talked about this before too. This is the second half of the year where we see prices just drop and drop and drop. And this is just what happens, right? People leave the game. This FIFA game, uh, it just gets to a point in the calendar where it becomes stale to some people. After Team of the Season, uh, you see stuff kind of go down. EA is trying to keep this game alive by throwing out content every day. We got like three or three SBCs today, four SBCs today. Um, with a, a player of the month card for Messi. We got the Zarate SBC. I'm not saying it's good value. I'll talk about those at the end of the video. I'll talk about these SBCs a little bit. But EA is throwing out content right now to try, try to keep people involved across all different of sections of this game, right? We even got league SBCs today uh, for like the Libertadores and the Sudamerica where are they back here in league? Yeah, right here. Kami Bull, Suit America, and Libertadores both got like league SBCs today uh, with different players. That You can tell they're just trying, they're releasing content, not saying it's the most hyped up content ever, but they're trying to keep people in this game and it's, you know, they're trying, but it's not really working because we've just gotten used to the same old repetitive um, notion of promo after promo after promo. And I think people are get, kind of getting tired of that and they want something different instead of just a pack promo every weekend. But I want to take a look at a few cards here and talk to you guys about some of these drops and prices on the market. Here's one version. One player that I want to look at. Future Stars Haland, which by the way, EA Sports has changed his card in game. I think this just happened just today. They they have been spelling his name incorrectly for a long time in foot, right? Haland has two A's. Look at look at the card again. Look at the card on foot. We have two A's. H A A L A N D. Now we go back here to uh to Footbin. And they have the, the A with the insignia above it. But now when you search him in the game, it's H-A-A. So I think that's how, you specific, that's how you're supposed to spell his name. And they've had it wrong in foot for a while now. But small detail, I guess. Anyways, uh, look how much this card has dropped in the past couple hours. This graph isn't going to really do it justice. But on Sunday, he was 1.9 mil. And he has dropped now down to 1.7, actually under 1.7 mil. Even on Thursday, the man was over 2 million coins, 2.05 mil. He's down 350,000 coins, basically, from where he was selling it on the weekend uh, at one point. And this is one of the most hyped up cards in foot at the moment. You know, we can look through multiple different Team of the Week cards and Team of the Week squads and just show you the drop on these prices. Zlatan, 744k. This guy was like 1.5 mil during the promo. And now the man is down 744,000 coins. It, the, the cards across the market are just dying right now because nobody people aren't using these cards and people that have coins are going to maybe doing SBCs or they're just buying icon moments to try them out and or it's just there's a lot of just people not playing the game at the moment too some of these shapeshifters have kind of maintained their price Marcelo is at 129 that's low Atal is 466 that's low um Mertens is 180 that's low even these these cards that are like the one of the newest set of promo cards are low on the market. Ribéry is 1.6. This guy was like 2.2 mil uh, a week ago. 2.2 mil a week ago. Like right back here. A little over a week ago. 10 days ago. 2.2 million coins. Now he's down to 1.6 million for one of the most hyped up cards to enter foot again. Uh, of course, not having a card all of the year this year. So there are lots of cards in this game right now that is dying. And again, I think it is to both of those things. People are leaving the game. EA provided them with a great exit opportunity with the two for one packs and half price packs with coins this weekend. Uh, and then of course the Pez situation as well. And just the second half of this game is, you know, after team of the year, this game always experiences a downturn on towards team of the season or until team of the season when things start to pick back up. So I just, I just wanted to talk with you guys through that today, talk you through why this stuff is going down, why the market is low, why it is basically dying because I don't think a lot of people understand why it is. If you're still involved with the market right now, you are a truly hardcore player uh, that is is really enjoying foot or you're somehow addicted to foot so much that you continue to go on, right? Uh, or you just love football so much that you want to continue to play foot because it's your outlet for where you can enjoy your favorite players on your team or whatever. Uh, and yeah, so if you're still playing, GG's to you, by the way. Anyway, um, even the SBC fodder part of this of this game is, I think, still low, but also kind of dead. We're getting SBC after SBC after SBC. We've got we, how many SBCs we get today? Let me go count this really quick. We got a player moments SBC today. 
or a flashback SBC for Zarate. So we got one SBC. This is the first one we got today. We got Play of the Month Messi today. We had those two uh, player SBCs for the Kami Bowl, Sudamerica, and Libertadores. And then we also had a 50k pack on tradable SBC. We got five SBCs today. Four players or four player SBCs. You can actually get multiple players uh, from these league SBCs. Which, by the way, some of these in-game stats on these cards are like total scams. If you you kind of look at the rewards, I think it's the right back. Is it uh, not Cardozo? It's this guy. It's one of these guys in here. It is uh, Bustos. Bustos on the paper, right? Face stats on the card. They look good, but if you go into the end games, high low work rates, he really is not that good of a right back in game, so it's kind of a gotcha scenario right there. Obviously, these cards are just cool, right? For some people that are in, that love the Libertadores uh, or the Sudamerica, uh, this is awesome for you guys. South Americans, this is freaking dope, right? And people who like to just make cool teams in this game, this is an opportunity for you to do some of that, but that's not a wide variety of this. That's kind of like a small group of people on this game, right? There's tons of different people that on this game that have different desires. They have different motivations on foot, whether it's to make coins, whether it's to just get Messi in their team, whether it's just get Ronaldo in their team, or whether it's to play with a whole team of Argentines or a whole team of Brazilians. There are so many people in this game that have different objectives and different desires and what they want to do. And of course, right now, EA with this promo is kind of delving into that Southern, Southern American argentine you know kind of niche i guess you could say at the moment uh, and a lot of that content is being pointed there so that's just one thing i wanted to point out as well but you can still trade in this market i mean i traded with four icons today i was able to flip four of these it is risky i bought this at 999,000 coins sold it at 1087 so what is that like maybe 30 or 40k profit not bad i bought this at 1.4 flat so that's like maybe 10 15k I bought this at 880k, so that's that's a cheeky little, you know, what, 20, 25k. And I bought this at a uh, 142, 142, so I think that's like 30k or something like that as well. So these cards fluctuate a ton, especially with the icons. The most important thing that you have to think about here with these is um, a lot of people are just they're down so much on these cards and they just want them to sell so bad cuz they want their coins, they want to be liquid that you see uh, some people undercutting too much on the 59. So it is very risky to trade with these cards because there's not a lot of people that are buying them at the moment, but uh, you can absolutely trade with them and there, there's an ability to trade with them because some people are just undercutting too much uh, and too low. Again, it's just kind of monitoring the card prices, knowing where that card sells at, and that can uh, be a coin making method for some of you guys. Finding the right filter is huge as well because it's not easy to get to that icon 59th minute quickly. And to get there efficiently, let's let's do one more search here. Let's see if I lower my search parameters on the minimum buy it now by a little bit. Boom. That wasn't really a good filter either. But again, um, you can definitely trade in this market, even with some of these special cards like this uh, Halan card, right? He's like 1.7 mil at the moment. That one went through on the full hour and didn't sell at 168. All it takes is somebody to list their card at 1.75 mil, but do a start price of like 145. Those cheeky start bid prices are something that you want to really keep an eye out for a lot of times in foot. I see a couple cheeky start prices here. There was a Messi listed at what, 1.9 mil? I know this Messi is kind of crept back up to like 1.95, 1.97 today after he was 1.75 mil this morning with the player of the month. But open start bids like this, I mean, this isn't a profitable uh, start bid. But the ones like this are some of the ones that you can get the best deals on, especially in more of a dead market because there's less people looking at them and uh, because people don't always add bids that are uh, not open bids. A lot of people will scroll through cards and they'll look for open bids, right? Especially on icons or on special cards that not as many people are looking at. But sometimes look for those bids that uh, they're just like a cheeky start price is what I like to call them. So like right now, Prime uh, Moments Owen is selling for just under a million coins, right? This guy's selling for like 950,000 coins on the market. If I want to look for a cheeky start bid on a Michael Owen, this 900K wouldn't be that cheeky. But if I saw like an 850 or like an 820 or even, you know, something that's just not a minimum start bid or something that's so much lower than what that card sells at, that's something you can seriously do with trade with a lot on this market right now. It's just sort by special cards, go by league, and then maybe even search by, search by position. Pick a few of them. You're like, all right, Trent Alexander-Arnold. This is a card that's pretty desirable, right? Let's go search Trent Alexander-Arnold really quick. 
This is a card that a lot of people want to use. It's new, it's a position change, and it's different. It's Liverpool. We have Champions League coming this week. Um, not saying that that would make this card be hyped up that much more, but it could be a little bit. This isn't a live item, of course. But uh, when people play well in real life, people want to use that card on game, right? So Alexander-Arnold is 153,000 coins right now. Do we have any cheeky start prices at like 140 or below? All right, so boom. This 140 bid, of course, it's 20 hours out. If this was within one hour, I would add it to my transfer targets and just watch that go down in price and possibly be able uh, to make some money on that. This is technically a cheeky start price as well, 109K, but it's just too low. I mean, there's probably a lot of people that are looking at this card because a lot of people want to buy it. But that's one of the ways you can make coins right now is look for those cheeky start prices and start bids on some of these special cards in whatever range of coins you have. You can do it with 20,000 coin cards. You can do it with 100,000 coin cards. You can do it with 1.5 million coin cards uh, on this market. So I wanna talk about some of the stuff that happened today too on foot really quick at the end of this video. We got some headliner updates today. We got Royce, Lewandowski, and Delaney all got headliner updates uh, a few minutes ago. Delaney is now Hullet Gang. That's a solid looking card. Uh, Royce is a obviously a very beast looking card. Lewandowski finally got the four games in a row upgrade. This is a solid looking card. There's a lot of hype around this Lewandowski. I don't think he's going to get any special cards soon because he is injured at the moment, uh, but this is now no longer a live item based on uh, team wins. That's something to consider. One other player I want to talk about really quick, Wambasaka. Team of the week comes out, not today, but tomorrow. And there are some market movements on some of these possible uh, once to watches. Now, this is a way that we, I know I should have pointed this out to you guys earlier because this is a way, kind of an underrated way to trade with OTW cards is actually buying them after they do well in a game. So Wambasaka had a pretty good match rating. He went from like 23,000 coins uh, pre-game against City when they won two to zero. He was like 23, 24, 25,000 coins on the PlayStation before the game, right? Jumped up to 39,000 coins in game because he was playing well. People thought, all right, this guy, he's got one of the highest match ratings. He has a very high possibility for an inform because they kept the, kept the clean sheet and he played a good game. He's now back up to 44,000 coins after going from 23 to 39, back down to 32 post game, and now he's up to 44. In that 32,000 coin time frame, that is a great time to buy some one swatches and other live items. It's kind of like the panic sell after the inflation, right? The card went up, it's now back down, not as low as it was originally because he had a good performance and there's still an opportunity of him getting a team of the week, but that's a reinvestment opportunity on a lot of live items as you watch them rise back up into their potential upgrade time. If you had that Wambasaka, I think he's going to reach 50,000 coins before Team of the Week comes out. If he does get in Team of the Week, it's going to be a nutty looking card, and it's probably going to be worth more than 50,000 coins. He's going to be an 84 rated. He could get a pretty nice stat boost if EA wants to juice him up. I would take the money before the inform comes out, though, because they can easily give an inform to McTominay. They could easily give an inform to somebody else on the squad if they really wanted to. Team of the Weeks this year have been very inconsistent. So, if you have Wambasaka, if you have some of that invested, I would sell before the team of the week drops the morning of or the night before. And I do think you can get to 50,000 coins, in my opinion. I do think that he can get there. Again, we have Champions League as well. Today, we have two games in Champions League. We have Leipzig versus my boys at Tottenham Hotspur. It is not looking good for us at the moment because we have now found out that Steven Bergwijn has an injury. Steven Bergwijn is not going to be able to play. It's like a sprained ankle, uh, sprained ankle or something. So uh, that is very unfortunate for us Spurs. We are so injury uh, depleted right now. The team is thin. The team is weak. We just do not have our main star players, like the, the big squad that, that uh, Leipzig do. They have a lot more depth. Uh, so if we can somehow pull it off tomorrow or today, uh, that would be insane. But I do think the Uris and Sun will end up dropping. I have faith in my team, right? Come on, you Spurs. Some guys in the comments were, were kind of getting after me for not being a real, you know, being positive about my team. I do believe we can do it. I'm just being realistic and thinking it's not likely as well. All right. I'm just being realistic with you boys. I'm going to be watching this card post game because I do think he has, if Spurs lose, I do think there's rebound potential, even though this card would no longer be a live item. And then, of course, um, Atlanta is way up on Valencia. How much is this Was card? I honestly have no idea how much this card is. 
obviously this card is is technically still live um but there's very little chance that valencia could come back and win i think he's like what he's he's 29,000 coins at the moment and they're down four to one on aggregate so they're gonna need a huge game to come back this would be a fun card to play with if he did get an upgrade but of course from here on out for road to the finals the team has to advance on to the next stage to get the upgrade until we get to like the the final i think right the t yeah it's actually through the rest of the game through the rest of the competition the team that advances to the next round gets upgraded so this is leg two of the first round of 16 in champions league so we have to watch some of that stuff happening today so decent amount of stuff we talked about today oh i didn't talk about messi yet messi 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 let's talk about some of the other sbcs that we got today we got a 50k pack which is nice um we got this zarate which ea sports this is a, all right. This is the type of SBC that I think should be like, this should be 30 K 40 K. I know he's an 80. What is he? 87. Is he an 87 rated card? Okay. So you can't make him super cheap. He's 87 rated An 87 discard on this game right now is uh 20 K right? 20,000 coins for an 87. Just make this like 30 or 40 K. I would consider doing it if it was 30 or 40 K. How much is he? Two informs. Two informs. How much is this guy? He's 85k for this card because of the inform requirements, the high chemistry, and the 85 rating. If this card was 40k, I would consider doing it. Again, overpriced in my opinion. And then this messy SBC is ridiculous. This is 3 million coins for this card. He gets a plus one upgrade over his other player of the month. You have untradeable packs back. 489 rated squads. It's just crazy. It is crazy that this this is how much they required for this card. I think on Xbox, Team of the Year Messi is like 3.5 million coins. So that means Team of the Year Messi, who has like plus 10 physical on that um, Player of the Month Messi, is, a, is like 500k more? No, man. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. Uh, so I think that SBC is way overpriced. Does that hurt our 89 or higher rated gold investments? You know, it does a little bit. It does a little bit. I've got all these Chiellinis. I've got all these 88s, 89s on my transfer list. Am I scared? No, I'm not scared because we have more SBCs coming. EA is dropping lots of SBCs every single day. We've had a player SBC like three or four days in a row now. Uh, every single day we're getting a new player. So I like the pace at which this is going. We're bound to get another good one soon. Today was like a little bit of a blip, right? All the SBCs today were overpriced. Sandro on Sunday was good. Uh, before that, we had... Who do we have before that? We had Dominic Sanchez, which is, you know, eh, not really that great. We had Diaz, which is not that bad. Kolarov isn't that terrible. Not the best stats. But then, of course, we've had Ramos recently. And Ramos is a big SBC that a lot of people are doing. And people are still doing this one. Uh, so, again, if you have high rated, if you have high rated and you went in on some of those cards with me, some of those investments, whether it was a club stock or whether you're unassigned, hold tight to those because we are not done with those cards just yet all right boys so hold on to those high rated they're going to keep rising uh, especially since we don't have any more of the pack supply coming in we're getting untradeable pack sbcs and we're getting um sbcs that are player sbcs that people aren't doing so there's no tradable pack rewards from those coming onto the game or at least not much and of course no lightning rounds as well so that's kind of my thoughts and some of my feeling on why this market is dying right now and especially the content that we're helping isn't uh you know doing the community and doing us player base any favors as well so if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new boys all right it's been nate the photo accountant catch you guys later peace out